Oh, we are back again, Tuesday. Let's get into it. Oh, she's a warm day today, 37 degrees. A little bit overcast, so it's very muggy. Okay, so we have the machine down here. As always, we've got the mighty 14 inch elite. Stumpy number two, and we've got the scoop GPX 4500 Mind Lab. Oh, better not forget the solid swinger handle. Absolutely awesome to use that thing. As you can see right through here, we've got a few little gold workings just there, some test holes up that way. Gully running down that way. So let's see, you can see a little bit of surface and work in there, how it's so flat, and then the distance it's gone out there too. So hopefully, we can get something in through here. We can only try our best. Oh, I've got something special at the end of the episode today as well. I thought to bring it out. I was talking to Neil Colston from Diggers Down Under. Anyone who hasn't seen Neil's channel, head across there, Diggers Down Under. Absolutely awesome. I told Neil this week I'll bring in something at the end of the episode and we can just um, have a bit of a show and tell, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, because a lot of people are very, very smart with certain things, I should say. I'm not going to give away too much. It's not going to be a spoiler alert here, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, so once we get to that part of the episode, it's just going to be great for other people in live chat down here. People that tune in to the live premieres every Tuesday at 8.30pm. Absolutely awesome. The knowledge gained from all of the people that talk in chat when certain things come out of the ground and they explain what they are. And um, yeah, it just helps to uh, build a really good knowledge base of um, details, even if it's a bullet show. Like, I mean... Um, the stuff that the guys know in there is just incredible and um, yeah Anyone that doesn't tune in to the live chat certainly put the comments down below on any of the things that you see during uh, The gold digs or the digs the relics and especially the stuff at the end of this episode that we're just going to go over So yeah, very cool. Anyway It's that time. Let's get this thing powered up and hopefully I won't be swatting away any flies today So far so good. Let's get into it Okay, here we go, first target. That's where we were set up. Walk down through here, just detecting as normal. Swinging through here. Nothing very important, I guess. Just normal detecting stuff. Swinging, covering those grounds. Um, yeah, just come down into this flat spot here. Got a target just down here in the ground, so I'll um, plug that in, chuck that back on, and then, um, yeah, show you guys this one. Okay, here we go. So, small target down here, I'll just plug this in. It's only going to be small, not very uh, far down. Here we go. Okay, so somewhere here. Right there. As you can hear, that's a very small response. It doesn't take much to get that response when you swing over it. Not very special at all. Yeah, right there in the scoop, just an old piece of tin. You can see it's rusted just through the middle there. Hmm, very, very cool. Target one, rust. Oh, we have a target right down here, guys. I'll plug in the external. This is about 24 targets later. Oh, she's been very hot today. So hot, I don't even feel like swinging anymore, but you just gotta keep doing it. So let's go and take a look. Here we go. It's probably the best sound I've had all day. Oh, you know when you just have those days where everything's surface, everything's surface targets and we don't get much at depth at all. Well, that's been my day today. Whoa! Don't know what that was. Ooh, something big. All right, let's go. Let's take a peek. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, hang on. Let me just, uh... Ooh, I don't like things that fly. I think it might be a big marsh fly. Either that or a bloody big wasp. All right. Stop wasting time. Just hurry up. Oh, 
as you can hear that one there, very deep, very deep one. So let's go, let's go and take a look and see. Oh, she's a bit softer. Oh, not liking that material. Not liking that at all. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Alright, we're going in. Tell me that's not music to our ears, that one. But we do get deep rust targets and deep targets like that. Alright, here we go. We are going in. Hearing something out there in the bushes. Sorry about that. Yeah, you gotta watch the Australian bushes. All the big creatures that that come out. All the owlies and drop bears. Whoa, we have some gravelly stuff there. You little ripper. Oh, some nice spots. Whoa, look at that. How good's that? Even a rock. You ripper. All right, let's go and see what we got. All right, we're going in. What's that, about 10? <laughs> you little ripper. That's where the excitement starts, when you start seeing that material. And it's semi-packed. And we get that sound, that beautiful sound. Listen to that. Starting to get some nice reds showing up. All right, we're going in again. We're getting there. We're getting there, come on. Wish me luck on this. I've had one of those days. Oh, if this is gonna be gold, that's just gonna make the day so much better. And it should be a good little piece. Ooh, big chunky, big chunky, chunky, chunky goodness. Give me the gold. Let's see, we're getting there. Come on, I'm going in. Oh, she's blanking. She is blanking. Oh, I've got to bring his up. You only get to experience his once each time we find it, so let's go. You're probably thinking, just hurry up and get the target out. Well, we are going in. Ready? Because I know how much he's loved that sound. All right, she's coming out in this scoop, in this in this lot she's coming out it's gonna be somewhere there somewhere in that and we are down probably 14 let's just check on that we'll go down there roughly there oh maybe 12 yeah about 12 so nothing overly overly great on the depth but still all right here we go Oh, no, no, she's still in there. Whew. Let's just go this way a bit. And down. And down here. Now, if that doesn't come out in this go, I don't know what I'll do, but let's just see. Now we're down 14. Listen to that, chunky. 14. 14 with the 14 inch. All right. Woo. Oh, she's out, she's out. Oh, there it is. We'll pinpoint up. Okay, bring you guys around. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can pinpoint with these that close. She is 
right there somewhere. Keep your eyes open, see if you can see it. Whew. Here we go. Oh, going in. Oh, it's bloody hot today. Oh, 37. And that's about 14 inches. I've dug some holes, but like I said, not too many deep ones, just a lot of targets. You're probably thinking, just hurry up and get it out. All right, let's go. Whoa, she's in. Here we go. Oh. 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 Because, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, lips are that dry, I couldn't even whistle. Let's go and check this out. Have a look, have a real close look. Right there. And that's gold, guys. Oh, oh you little ripper. Check that little bad boy. Ooh, she's got some dirt in there, let's clean it. Oh, she finally paid off. Digging all those junky targets. She's keeping at it. She's got to keep going. Oh, let me clean that. I don't know if that was a fly or something. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's a ripper of a piece. There we go. How cool is that? That is absolutely awesome. Whew, and that knackered me. Get ready to guess those blades because they're going to come in soon. You all know that. Ooh, she weighs a little bit. Definitely over a gram. I'd say she'll top two, but get your thoughts in. That's gold, guys. That's a piece of gold. GT Vic, you ripper. Here we go. Coming in now. Whoa. Here we go. Quick, you better hurry. Oh, bloody flies. Here we go. Absolutely awesome. How cool is that one? Look at the hole. All right, here goes those weights. That was just awesome. <laughs> well, oh, there's my can of coke. Oh, I had to, had to sit that can there. Actually, those prickle bushes there, I use that to hold my cans when I open them because sometimes I don't bring bottles out. And um, I know ants don't crawl up them, so they'll crawl everywhere else but up them ones. That's just something I've um, found. Nothing worse than getting a can and it's full of ants. Oh, there we go. That's a piece of gold. Still small, but hey, we'll take them. Two grams or more, still good. Anything above a gram's exciting. Well, anything's exciting, really. Even the sub-sub stuff. Gold is gold. Fill that back in, obviously detect a bit more around there, but let's go guys. Isn't it just beautiful? Alrighty, we have target down here, let's go. We'll go and check it out just in this, I'll come down so you can see that. Just like it drops off just there, a little bit of a cutout. So maybe the gold was tracked back to there and then they just stopped because it ran out. But hey, that's what we can do with our detectors. We can find little bits that they've missed. So let's go in and take a peek, see what we've got going on. Well, this would be a bit tricky. Let's go this way. Beautiful sound. All right, let's go. Let's get this one out. I'll just get rid of all these out of the way. That way we're going to have a nice spot to drop that dirt. And I'll just check down below just to make sure. I did come in before, but now that's removed. Let's see. Beautiful. All right. Let's get rid of that. Oh, get rid of that pop stuff off out of there, and um, just make sure there's no really junky stuff sitting on top because rust can do that to us. Like I explained many, many times, rust can do that from the top. So it's a bit too solid though. Here, how solid it is. It's not soft like a soft low high. Oh. We are on. We are on. You beauty. Ooh. Oh, you want to come in? You want to come in and have a look? All right. How's that? Is that all right? All right. There you go. That way you can see the... Ooh, look at the colours in that. Just beautiful. Oh, tree root. Root. 
root in the bush. All right. Let's get this out. Let's check. Should be able to leave you guys there, I reckon. Let's see. Ooh, not too far in. You can see that clay level just there as well. Let's see. Let's see if we can get in. Ooh, there's a little pocket of gravel. Beautiful. Beautiful pocket. See that? See all the clays there? Right here? All up and around, and there's that little pocket of gravel sitting in there. Ooh, she's a little wash in. Let's go. Let's see, let's see. Oh, get all that out. Alright. That's almost all of those. Makes me wonder why the miners didn't keep going. Oh, obviously that ran out of gold, but those gravels are there, so makes sense to keep going. Alright, we're going in. Oh! Oh, she's out! Okay, how can I do this? Keep you guys with me. I'll spin you around. That way you can see it. And we should be looking about the top. That's roughly where I pinpointed. Okay, I'll just have to keep my pockets away because that'll probably pick up stuff in your pocket. Oh, I think I made it fall. Nah, I'll try again. It's got to be in the centre. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, she's still in there. Oh, in the hand. Whoop. Oh, oh. Whoa. All right, I'll get that out of the way. Okay, here we go. Here we go, ready? Make sure to watch this. There we go, how cool is that? That's gold. Listen to that, that's a solid little bit. You ripper, have a look how water one of these. Oh, she's clean, straight out of the ground. I love those smooth pieces. Let's give that dust, the dirt, a bit of a wipe off there. Oh, that's gonna look so good clean. And there we go. That's gold, guys. That's a solid little bit too. I reckon that's, I reckon that's heavier than the last one. Like a little egg. Very, very cool. All right, get your thoughts in on what you reckon that's gonna weigh. Ready? Gotta love that little clunk, don't we? All right, very, very cool piece of gold. So get your thoughts in and I'll bring those weights in right now on that piece. Very awesome. Oh, you beast of a coil. Go away, fly. Here we go. I'll get those weights in right now. Here they come. All right, how awesome is that? I don't know what it weighs, but I'll find out. Get off my camera. I'll find out when I get home. Awesome. Well, that's cool as. Um, very, very awesome. Alrighty, what to do, what to do. That's a good day anyway. Lots of junk. To end it off really, really well with those two bits of gold is just brilliant. I'll just um, clean that back in, have a little bit more of a de detect there, and then, um, yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so that's where we got that last piece of gold. No more targets just in and around there. Uh, that's actually me done. So what I want to do now is just go over some of the targets I've got today. Have a look at the gold and then do that other thing that I was talking about at the start of the episode as well. So very, very good. Not a good start, I guess. Not a good start to the day. That's the reason why I didn't put the targets in at the very start of the video. Only the very first target that I got today, which was that little bit of tin, that little rusty one. The good stuff, all the good stuff we get very rusty. Oh, look at that. There's a fly. Big one. March flies are starting to come out. Ooh. All right. Well, he's a very famous fly now. Um, yeah, some variety, a few little bits of lead, 
not very deep they weren't so look what we got that's very good so that's really really good um even sub grams we love to get little subbies and to hit those two bits right at the end of today was more than the icing on the cake that's for sure can't wait to weigh them up and clean them when i get home very very cool so you're all probably wondering what's in this case just here well let's open it up and find out okay guys here we go we're going to open up this case first i'll explain what this is so this is a coin collection that's been in our family for a very long time now i was advised that this these coins have been collected in our family from generations and um they were kept even when the coins were in circulation so it'll show us how far back these coins will actually date anyone that's smart knowledge on coins and we know neil colston's an absolute master neil colston from diggers down under absolute genius when it comes to this stuff so yeah here we go neil this is what i was talking about so here's the coins that i thought to bring you out and give you a peek at and hopefully you guys can help me out with these coins <laughs> Okay, so I've grabbed out these half pennies and that. What I'll do is close this so we can sit these on top, just so we're not sitting these directly on the rock, and we'll just get these going and we'll just see what. Okay, so just there we have a new penny. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of coin that is, Neil will be able to tell me. 1946 Australian half penny. Beautiful condition, one half penny, 1922. 1946 half penny. 1947 half penny, 1960 half penny. Uh, that's the half pennies done. So now we have some um, pennies. That's a 1949, 1944 penny, 1948 penny. I'll just quickly go through all these. So we've got them all, almost like there's a 1950 penny. Well, another 1944, 1944 penny, 1956 penny, 1958 penny. 1951 penny, another 1951 penny, 1961 penny, 1947 penny just there. And lucky last just here, we have a 1955 penny. So I'll open up this now and we'll get some of these other coins out. Okay, so we'll go through some of these silver coins. That's Republic, uh, Republic Osterreich, or I don't know how to pronounce that anyway. It's only 1980 model and that's the back of it, 10 something, 10 shilling. They're 50 cents from Singapore. Looks like a Singapore 50 cent piece, 1985. 1985. Nothing too old about that. What have we got here? 1924. Oh, oh. oh, go away, fly. 1924, one shilling. Beautiful condition. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not even gonna put that one up. That's not the putting up. Okay, so this was this is a pretty cool coin, this one. I've had a few of these before. Commemorative media coin, Sir Donald Bradman, our greatest ashes hero, Sir Donald Bradman. Very cool. Okay, just there you can see it's a 1947 Florin. Absolutely beautiful condition, that one. 1947 Australian Florin. We have a 1921 shilling. Great condition as well. A little bit, a little bit faded on one side. Beautiful on the back. Couple of Rams head shillings just there, 1952, both of those 1952. Great condition on those two. Oh, oh we have one dime, the American one dime. There's a lot of uh, sixpences in there, but I'll just throw a couple up there and I'll just go through some of those dates. Well, that's both 1948. So yeah. Most of them are 1948. Let's just throw this one here. 1962 so on the left 1917 1948 in the middle and then all the others we have mostly 48s there's a 48 55 62 60 1962 yeah and that's about it very very cool so we'll bring up these other coins now so we have this one here absolutely awesome that's 1919 one penny very very cool old coin that that's a 1908 half penny. And that's the back just there. I think that says 1901. So that's a 1901 half penny. Very, very cool. Very old coin. We have a 1907 one penny. Just love those old coins. So yeah, that's it. 
Very cool. So that's it. That's all of the coins right there, as you can see. On the right, I didn't bring all those ones in. As you can see, that's all the coins there. We've got the Australian ones up there. And those beautiful coins there. And all the sixpences right through there. Those very old coins there. Most of these ones on here, are, um, there's Singapore ones, ones from Dutchland, Netherlands, all over the place. But that's very cool. So yeah, I thought to bring them ones out just to show you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. That's me done. Found gold, showed you guys some coins, got some junk targets. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. Not as many targets put in there, but hey, all good. Um, hopefully you can still give me a thumbs up for that one. And I will see you guys all next Tuesday. Have an awesome week and thanks very much. See you later, guys.